Vishwanath Chakrabarti Thakur is not talking about a good singer or a good dancer, a good uh, musician. Hmm? When he says, Mahaprabhu Kirtan Manitya Gita Baditramadhan Manasura Sena, he says his mind is absorbed in uh, um, bhav, in love. Hmm? And on the basis of this, these things are happening. He's singing, he's dancing. Hmm? In the Kirtan of Mahaprabhu. Not any other dancing and singing. He has no interest in that. Hmm? And then what else does he say? Roman Chakam Pashrutaranga Bhajo. Vande Guru Shi Charanadas. Roman Chakam Taranga. As I mentioned, bhakti is both action and the effect of action in, in terms of the, the culture, anushilanam, the culture of devotion. So the effect of action, of hearing and chanting, is emotions. That means sadhana bhakti has as its goal what? Bhava bhakti. bhakti. Hmm? So we don't get lost here. We're doing something. We're going somewhere. Hmm? And it's not the Los Angeles or San Francisco or this place or that place. We may be doing that, but we should be doing that just out of habit. Hmm? But internally, if we're a sadhaka, we should be going somewhere else, pursuing, making progress on the inner landscape. The Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu is there in other books giving us the map. Like when you go into the mall, and there's the map. So everything is and you are here. Hmm? You should know. That's why a little, that little knowledge can be helpful. Hmm? Here's where I am on the map, and I'm actually in the mall. I'm going somewhere. <laughs> I have somewhere to go. So in a basic sense, the, the, the journey on Sadhana Bhakti ends in Bhava Bhakti. So we should try to see in our daily pursuit, we're getting somewhere, we're going somewhere. And that's going to require two things, some idea what the, what the goal is, some interest in it, and the willingness to retire other interests. So this is very important. He says here, Vishwana Chakrabhati Thakur, that with regard to the effect of sadhana, which is bhava. He's mentioned these anubhavs. Anubhavs are like movements of the body that are voluntary. But they are movements that are involuntary. We call those sattvika bhavs. These sattvika bhavs are eight in number. When the mind is transformed by bhav, then it, it rides on the body, within the body, on the life airs, the pran. Hmm? It means it takes over that body, rides on the life airs. And the life airs come in touch with the basic elements of the body, as they were explained and understood by the ancients, by the sages. We have bumir, Apo and by Krishna himself, Anilo, Vayo, Kam. Hmm? These are the basic uh, gross material elements. Earth, water, fire, air, sky. Hmm? So these uh, elements are within the body. Hmm? There's solidity and liquidity and there's heat and, and so forth. There's air, makes for movement and so on. So when this bhava, riding on the, the pran, the pran, the pran is of course you, you're in a sense, it's, it's, it's your, it's, materially speaking, it's your, your, your life essence, but taking over that, riding on that. And when it comes in touch with earth, hmm, then the body can become stunned. Hmm. When it comes, of course, with the liquid element, hmm, then tears can come. In profusion. When it comes in touch with the fire element, then perspiration can come. Mahaprabhu perspired blood, 
extreme. Hmm. When it comes in touch with the with the air, then it can be a swoon, passing out, and then a faltering of the horripilation, uh, 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 hair standing on end, hmm. uh, trembling, faltering of the voice. Hmm. If the bob comes very, just a little bit, there will be horripilation, hair standing on end. If it becomes an average way, medium way, then it will cause the trembling. And very intensely, choking of the void. Gad gada, jogamana, joga moha, joga moha. Mahaprabhu couldn't say jagannath. Like this. So these are yeah, uh, effects of bhav that come. Uh, Without, they're not, they're uncontrolled. They come of their own accord. This Bob rides the, the prawn and causes this to happen. And these are, these, and the singing and dancing also, these Anubhavs, these are the ornaments of the Sadaka Deha. Hmm? This means, oh, you become beautiful through your sadhana. You can get this Bob in two ways. By practice of sadhana bhakti and by mercy. Mm -hmm. Mercy can come from the verbal blessing of a Vaishnava or Krishna. Mm -hmm. It can come from uh, uh, hearts well-wishing, like Nard well-wishing Prahlad when he was within, within the womb, in different ways. Mm -hmm. We, I can tell you, I'll give you some mercy. We should count on it coming through practice. Mm -hmm. This is my mercy to you. Practice. Don't live your life like you're going to win the lottery. Hmm? <laughs> That's not a good idea. It might happen. Hmm? But get a good job. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> so you do your spiritual practice. Hmm? Exercise your sadhakadeha. And don't just exercise the outside of the sadhakadeha. You have to exercise the heart. There has to be some change. These symptoms, tears, hair standing on end, hmm? and so they come in different ways. They may come out of, out of affection. When the, when the prominent, dominant emotion of the devotee rules in a particular way, uh, uh, these symptoms may come. Or in relation to a secondary, but uh, dom dominant sentiment, or the secondary sentiment, gona rasa, Baba will come. Hmm? Or it may come because it's stored up inside. Hmm? You may have a dream and it may come. Or in a third way it may come. This means snigda, digda, and what? Ruksha. Ruksha means like, snigda means out of affection. Digda means like um, out of accumulation. It's stored there from the past. It comes. Hmm? Krishna wasn't present. Mother Yashoda had a dream about Putana and she was trembling like that. Or Ruksha means harshness or dry. It means it may come. This crying and hair standing on in the particular, these two, others perhaps, but these two, may come in someone who doesn't really have bhakti. So, just as we are to not look for a musician hmm, or a dancer for our guru. Hmm? We aren't to look only for someone who's crying hmm, and exhibiting symptoms of ecstasy. 